G'day students, we're going to draw another piece of our lamp. We're going to go into an old drawing this time though and add a new piece to it. So this time, log in as you normally do. Go to the base lamp and you'll see up here that says tinker this. We need to go to that one, tinker it up. And we're going to add in the bottom pivot this time. So wait for it to load and you should be able to see your old base that you did. Now to start working on this nice and simple, go to this button over the side here uh, and it'll get it so that we can see it nice and easy. It'll get it to the right size for us. Now to add the bottom pivot, go over to your basic shapes down here, scroll through until you find the round roof. I'm going to drag it over to here. Now this time we need to rotate it first. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Then we need to make some adjustments to the measurements, which this time it's going to be 40 wide. It's going to be 100 long and it's going to be 50 high. Note the different uh, areas that I'm clicking there. You should be getting used to it now because of the other ones that we've done already. Now there's one more piece to go with this uh, and that is we need to put a hole through it. So what we're going to do is going to grab the hole, sorry, wrong place. Go up to the top here, you'll find the cylinder that's uh, it's a hole version of it. We're going to click on this one. We're going to create this as six, six, and the height is going to be 40. All right, now you can see you're probably around the wrong way at the moment. So we're going to click on one of these arrows here, go to there, press 90, and it should come across to being on a horizontal plane. So what we're going to do now is click this and shift click this one, and it brings them two together. Go to the align icon up the top and we're going to align these together as well. So take it to the back, then put it in the middle, put it in the middle here, if it'll work, that's it. And then click over on this side so that you can see now the hole is right in the middle of that piece. And before you click off it, make sure you click the align, oh, sorry, the group tool as well. Now that's a solid piece. You can see right through that hole there. That tells you that it's grouped. Okay, once we've got that, now we've got to move it so it sits on top of the work plane or the, on top of the, the base plate in the right spot. So click off it. Click on again. You'll see this arrow here, the black one up the top. Click on that and just drag it a little bit. And you'll see that this uh, measurement tool will come up here. We need this to go to 30. And that's going to lift it to the same height as the, um, the top of the base plate there. So now we click on this and this and go back to our align tool. Now this time we're going to adjust only two of the areas. So first of all, we need it to go all the way to the back. And then same as what I've done before, go all the way to this side and then come back and put it in the center. And that's it. What you need to do now is click off it. Put the, uh, a mark around the whole thing, or sorry, put a group around the whole thing, and we're going to now group those together. So that is now one part. See that there? Last thing I forgot to tell you in the last video, but please make sure you press the Tinkercad's icon in the corner so that it makes sure that it saves your work down the bottom here. All right, we'll move on to the next part.